Welcome back to Anxiety Slayer. I'm Shan Vanderleek. Every week, Ananga and I offer a holistic, compassionate approach to managing anxiety, drawing upon our many years of experience. And we aim to equip you with the tools and strategies you can implement immediately to alleviate symptoms of anxiety and cultivate a sense of calm resilience. Before we get started, we'd like to give a shout out to our new patrons, Wendy, Ann, and Tom. Thank you for being a patron. And if you'd like to become an Anxiety Slayer patron and unlock a world of support, guidance, and empowerment, and more than 200 downloads, you can join us today at patreon.com slash anxiety slayer. Welcome back, Ananga. Hey, Shen. So good to be with you this week. Talking about a subject that you know so much about and that uh, I'm grateful we're digging into a little bit deeper. This week, we're continuing our conversation about practical techniques for anxiety relief with a focus on EFT tapping and positive affirmations. If you're looking for a powerful self-help technique to help you slay your anxiety, we highly recommend EFT tapping. Ananga, before we dig in, would you kindly share an introduction to EFT tapping, sharing with our listeners who don't know what it is, what it's all about? Yeah, I think um, tapping's been around now for well over 20 years, probably closer to 30 years. So many people have heard of it, but not everyone knows how it works or how to do it. So it's nice to be going back to basics today. It's such a helpful technique. Originally, it was called EFT, which stood for Emotional Freedom Techniques, and then it became known as EFT tapping or just tapping because tapping is what you do. It's a very effective self-help tool that you can use for all kinds of things. It's very good for calming anxiety, fears, phobias, so many uses. Tapping is a description of the way EFT is used. It's used by tapping with your fingertips on natural healing energy points on the body or meridian points. And they're the same points as the points used in acupuncture or acupressure in traditional Chinese medicine. So it works in a similar way to acupuncture with an emphasis on emotional healing. And you can learn to do it for yourself. It's just tapping on a sequence of calming meridian points with your fingertips. Lots of research has gone into EFT over the years. Originally, research into points that were particularly good for calming fears and phobias. And then a gentleman called Gary Craig developed it from there and brought in this linguistic element. He was very much into NLP, neuro linguistic programming. So he brought the words in. So we have this combined technique sitting on these meridian techniques along with the language we use to describe what we're seeking help for. And you can find more on tapping and the tapping points at anxietyslayer.com slash EFT if you'd like to take a look at the points that we're referring to. And EFT tapping works so beautifully to alleviate stress and anxiety. When you're feeling really stressed out, sometimes just tapping on your collarbone, not even moving through all of the points, right? Just tapping on your collarbone and how that can really bring fear down. Yeah, that's a kidney meridian point. It's on the end of the kidney meridian. It's called K27. So K1 is in the center of the sole of your feet. So that benefits when we're we're always recommending massage your feet with oil. Really pay attention to the center of the bottom of the feet. That's K1, the beginning of the kidney meridian. So, you know, when we're talking about rooting down into the earth, that's a point that's in contact with the earth. The other end of that meridian is up by the collarbones, K27. And if you tap there, really good for calming fear. That makes me think of a time when I was feeling really, I don't know, almost like I might pass out, just really lightheaded and just funky out of my body. And I had learned about tapping under the armpit Mm -hmm. and tapping there. And it was amazing how quickly. I came back into my body just through steadily tapping there. Yeah. 
tell us about what that point is and, and why that was so helpful for me to tap there when I was feeling lightheaded. It's a really good point for if you're feeling lightheaded, spaced out, ungrounded. Uh, it's on the spleen meridian in Chinese medicine. So what you do is you cup your right hand and pat under the left arm about four inches down from the armpit and you pat it really firmly, take deep breaths and then swap with the other hand and the other side is one way to do it if you're feeling lightheaded. And yeah, that point is known to help with grounding and feeling faint, feeling lightheaded. Mm. I can remember a couple of years ago, I was quite unwell and I really felt like I was going to pass out and my daughter knew what to do. And she just said, put your arms up. I lifted my arms up and she gave a good thump, you know, with both hands, both sides while I took deep breaths. And sure enough, mm. it did the trick. In our course, EFT tapping for anxiety relief, we emphasize those two points along with the under the eye point for SOS tapping, tapping when anxiety feels particularly heightened. And there's a, there's a way you can use those points in sequence to really bring down anxiety when it feels like it's going to spill over into an anxiety attack. And it really works. I've seen it hundreds of times over many years. Yeah, it does. And the more I use it, the more I'm blown away by just how helpful it is. And so I've kind of taken us off track a little bit talking about the two meridian points. Why don't we go back to the, the step-by-step guide for tapping and what, what the technique is so that our listeners can follow along with that particular part before we dig deeper. Yeah. Again, you can find the points on our website at anxietyslayer.com slash EFT. You can see all the points there. First of all, identify the issue you want to work on. So it could be that you have a fear of spiders, for which it works incredibly well, or you're nervous about making a particular car journey, or you've woken up in the morning and you feel particularly anxious and you'd like to help yourself settle that down. But you can use it for so, so many things that once you learn it, you'll probably find yourself using it a lot for different things. So that's just a few examples. So you identify the issue you want to work on, and then you use some words to make what's called a setup statement. And it's simply just tuning in to what you want to work on. So you could say, even though I've woken up with this awful anxiety, I accept myself. So you start off with an even though. And you end with, I accept myself like a sandwich and in the middle is, is your thing. Um, even though I don't want to face the day ahead, even though I have this anxious nausea, or even though my stomach feels sun settled, it's helpful to use your own words and really be informal and use the words as if you were describing it to somebody else in your house and you're saying, hey, I feel like this this morning. Use your own words, something short and simple. And then you start tapping through the points and you use a short version of the words just to keep you tuned in. So let's say anxious stomach, for example. So you start tapping through the EFT points that you can see on our diagram. And just remind yourself at each point. So you'd start by making your statement tapping on the side of your hand, as you see on the diagram. And you say, even though I have this, for example, anxious stomach, I accept myself. And you repeat that three times. And then you start tapping through the points, starting on the, you'll see on the diagram on the top of the head and working your way down. Also on that diagram, you'll see some finger points, but they're not used so much these days. They tend to be left off these days. We used to use them originally, but most people end on the point under the arm these days. But you can use them. They work quite nicely. It's as simple as that. You identify your issue, make a statement, tap on the side of your hand to tune in, make your opening statement, and then tap the points through two or three times while you're using some words to remind yourself at each point as you go down. You can tap either side with either hand, and you tap about seven or eight times on each point. It's very easy to learn. It is very easy to learn, and it's just a matter of practicing. And the cool thing too about tapping is you can tap for what's going on, what you're struggling with, and what you'd like to address, right? But you can also tap 
for a desired outcome, which I think is also really helpful. And often when we do our guided EFT tapping sessions, we start with what it is you want to clear, what it is you want to address, whether it be that anxious stomach or waking up with awful anxiety. And then once we've gone through a few rounds of tapping, we assess how we're doing, and then we start talking and creating language around the desired outcome. It's a great way to get to know yourself and your thinking processes around anxiety while simultaneously diffusing them. And I think my favorite thing about EFT is it helps us feel more resourceful. I've consistently seen that over the years. It takes overwhelm and anxiety down and it brings our natural resourcefulness online. And we start feeling a bit creative and thinking what we can do. We start seeing possibility. And it's really worth playing around with the languaging and the words you use to see how that's working for you. Yeah. And it's a, an invitation, like you said, to get to know yourself better. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we want to run away from how we're feeling instead of facing it. And, and taking action. But if you allow yourself to really look at what is going on and to move through that and then to invite what you'd like to see happen, and that, that's why it's such a beautiful uh, partnership to incorporate positive affirmations with tapping. And you've kindly created some examples of affirmations tailored for anxiety relief that I'd love for you to share. Yeah. One of my favorite ways of using tapping, it's what I think of as like a soft turnaround where you start by stating the truth of how you feel. And you can be really frank. And the more frank you are, the, the better it's going to work. We might say, I feel broken. I feel like I can't cope with another single thing. I feel like I'm going to be stuck with anxiety forever. But at the end of that statement, you're saying, and I accept myself. You know, I feel like this, but I'm not giving up on myself. There's, there's that nice acceptance there in that opening statement. And so then we can tap for how we feel. I feel horribly anxious. I feel like anxiety is taking over my day. I feel like this anxiety is, you know, ruining my life. I feel restless. I don't feel like I can cope. Whatever we're feeling, just say it and tap for it. Keep us tight to that issue. You can be creative with the words, but keep it to one issue at a time. Otherwise that is a different kind of overwhelm. So you just keep it to the one thing. And then after a while, a few rounds, we start to feel a little bit more settled. And then we can go through a spell of change in our language where we're kind of opening to possibility. I'd like to be open to feeling more calm. I'm open to supporting myself. I respect myself. This is hard. Living with anxiety is hard. I respect myself. Sometimes we can have you know, some tearful moments when we really turn to ourselves with compassion when we're tapping. And our words will start to change where we're rethinking that absolutism, that black and white thinking that anxiety can bring. And then we can change the language in again to look for how we'd rather feel or, or what we're open to, to doing or accepting to feel more at peace. So some phrasing examples we have for that would be I understand that thinking of worst case scenarios doesn't protect me. And just tapping that through and see what comes up. We don't have to solve everything with tapping. Things will be revealed to us as we go. Again, that's that resourcefulness coming online. Um, we could use a statement like, I open to what life might bring me without automatically going to crisis or automatically going to worst case thoughts, whatever words you would use for that. Another statement that can be really helpful is, I will take action to protect myself in a healthy way. I take care of myself by building resilience. I nourish and protect my nervous system. Any one of these you can just pick and spend three or four minutes tapping with and it yeah. can be a very nice experience. And you'll find all of these examples listed in our show notes. Yeah, and we'll put them on our Patreon as well in our tapping collection. There's a collection on our Patreon of guided tapping sessions, so we'll put them in there so they're accessible. Another example, I draw my mind away from anxious thoughts to thoughts of safety and peace. To be open to redirecting our mind 
to uh, safe and peaceful thoughts. And it doesn't take much imagination to realize the difference that makes to your nervous system and to your overall stress and anxiety. I take time each day to breathe and relax. Just to tap with that for three or four minutes and establish it as a principle of self care. And I lean into trust. Mm. Or I trust myself. We can lose a lot of self respect with anxiety, and EFT tapping is a great way to gently restore that. And one of the things I love most about tapping is it can be anything you want it to be. And as long as it's something you're resonating with, you're going to find that you get wonderful results. I find it just shocking sometimes how much better I feel after tapping. It's a really good thing to learn. And I I don't know why, but sometimes there seems to be an obstacle to learning it. I I don't know if it's because we feel overwhelmed when we've got anxiety. We don't think we've got room for another single thing. But we've got a very simple step-by-step course. We've got examples in our free Anxiety Slayer course at anxietyslayeracademy.com. And there's also an offer in there for a substantial discount off our tapping course if you want to just go and get the free course and and listen along. Uh, Also on our Patreon, we've got several tapping sessions. I think there's over 20 on their guided tapping sessions. So that's the easiest way to to start is to listen to somebody else that's familiar with the process and tap along with them. We have a video as well on our Patreon, so you can see me tapping the points and demonstrating through. You can look that up. Again, it's in the tapping collection at patreon.com slash anxiety slayer. Earlier, you mentioned overcoming some of the challenges and skepticism or judgment or just feeling like I don't have time to learn something new. And I can remember feeling that way too, feeling silly about tapping on the points and kind of judging it. Is this really going to work? Or how is this going to make a difference? It's just one more thing. Or am I going to get it wrong? And just do your best to manage the resistance and the barriers while you're practicing. Just try it. Because it's a little strange, and it's a lot magical. So it's, wor- it's worth it. And it does look daft. And I can remember I used to travel around the UK teaching at public health shows, and I'd be standing up on a stage with like 60 people in an audience explaining. And then when it came to demonstrate, every time I'd think, I wish this didn't look so daft. <laughs> Right. You know, it works so well, but right. But I knew that within the next three minutes, people were going to have an experience where they could feel that it worked. So we'd have a very quick exercise. One demonstration, I said, come stand on the stage with me if you felt a shift. But I remember thinking about five or 10 people would, would come up. So I set this exercise and said, if you felt a shift, come stand with me. And uh, everyone, everyone came up. <laughs> the stage wasn't big enough. There was about three people left sitting and we had this really good photo of a load of people on a stage with a hand in the air saying, yeah, me, it really worked. And that was one of our promotional photos in the early days because it just looked so affirmative. And before we wrap today, let's talk a little bit about practical tips for practicing EFT or practicing tapping and how you can make it a part of your life. Just like everything else Ananga and I share with you, it's about carving out time, setting aside dedicated time for tapping and for affirmations, if that's the way that you want to use it. Just like anything else, setting aside that time, dedicating your time and practicing and continuing to show up and practicing, and then it'll get really very natural for you. You'll know what points, like you might not want to go through a whole tapping session, but you might want to be tapping on your collarbone if you're afraid of something. I was tapping on my collarbone before going to the dentist last week. Get into the space of, oh my goodness, I'm feeling so overwhelmed. I know that I know what to do. I know how to tap through this. I know how to create this loving, supportive statement. 
and I know that I can follow this diagram until I learn this and, and can do it without even thinking about it. And then you can integrate it into all kinds of routines, just like you were saying, Ananga. You can integrate it for just about anything that's going on in your life that you'd like to have a little bit more ease with. Yeah, it's just a question of being open to being a bit creative and open to the possibilities. And you'll see loads of examples in our course and, and on our Patreon, many, many different ways. And it's so easy to learn. I think my daughter was about five when she learned it. Mm. Sometimes it's easier to have a child's mind because we we often hear from people, am I tapping in the right place? Yeah, did I get it wrong? <laughs> yeah, did I get it wrong? It doesn't matter if you're not exactly on the point, it will still work. Am I saying the, the right words? You know, just say the words that feel, feel best for you and adjust them as you go. Allow the flexibility to change them as you go. We often change the words as we tap because we gain clarity and we kind of zoom in on the issue. So to just be really easy about it and pick how you want to learn, whether you want to take a course and really learn it um, systematically and be very thorough and be open to all the possibilities or whether you want to learn it specifically, some sequences and some ways to use it for anxiety relief and anxiety attacks. We have a, a course for that. Health anxiety is the best technique for calming health anxiety. I've worked with many clients um, who found peace with tapping for the fear of the white coats, fear of blood pressure, checks, all kinds of things. Or if you just want that gentle, natural support and you want to pick one or two guided sessions to listen to, perhaps in the morning to start your day or in the evening to help you settle into peaceful sleep and just use it like a favorite guided meditation where it's like, oh, okay, I've got this thing I do to get me off to sleep. Whatever works for you and however involved you want to get with it. But it can be as easy as just downloading an SOS tapping session and following along. And following along. Yeah. This week, we challenge you to explore EFT tapping for anxiety relief in any way you wish, whether that be through guided tapping through our Patreon or through our course, or whether you want to go ahead and create your own positive affirmations, your own statements about what you're working with and where you want to go from here. And then connect with us in our private Facebook group and share your experience. We'll, we'll be there looking in. If you have questions, we'd love to know how it's working for you. And remember, please don't judge yourself harshly. Just give it a try. Listen in, work it out. You are going to find EFT to be so beneficial in your anxiety slaying journey. Yeah, it's a great skill to learn. And once you learn it, you can use it to support your children if they're anxious about going to school, if they're unsettled going to sleep. So many things help a friend who's going to have a driving test. There's so, so many ways you can use it. And it's very quick and very easy once you've got the hang of it. Within a couple of minutes, you can feel things start to settle. So yeah, please give it a go and let us know how you're doing. And if you have any questions, we're here and happy to help. You can access some of our guided tapping sessions at our Patreon, where you can get a deeper dive into some of the topics we cover, as well as over 200 downloads, including all of our guided relaxations. If you're interested in becoming an Anxiety Slayer patron, you can learn more at patreon.com slash anxietyslayer. Thanks for listening.